Annika and I'm back here with Theo and uh, I want a new haircut uh, and color so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, a fringe, uh, a bit of short fringe and uh, some layers here and uh, white uh, with some blue in it and uh, you will see later. Okay, will you turn so you can see how it is now? Yes, sure. It grows very fast. Yes, yes it does. It's still in a wonderful condition. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. Annika's back. And you heard what she wants. So uh, it's a lot of work to do. Start by taking the hairs up, putting on the protection for coloring, and start with coloring. I will kill for ultra light color into the light blonde white colors and then some blue accent in it so a lot of work but a lot of fun to do start of course with protection and then make a bleach gonna work with the new bleach uh, bleach of glint it's very light it is uh, with three percent and two percent uh, so it's uh, ten volume and about uh, seven volume six so in that range and it lights up very nicely but also the hair stays in the most wonderful condition and that's the most important thing. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay, made to a bleach of glint. What I told you with uh, 3%. This I use on the length, on the skin parts near to the skin I use uh, uh, 2%. It's even less, but first I start with the length because here's also old color in. So I applied also a violet because the color is already into the yellow colors. Applying the bleach and just do this all over her head and stay away about two centimeters from the start. Show that in a second. Take the hairs up. If time, take about a centimeter hair. Stay two centimeters from the skin. Because there's old color in, and I want first to get the old color out. Her natural color is about an eight. So it lights up very easy. So do all I have. Okay, now I left out all the parts on the skin. So I have all the color on her hair. And stay away about two, two and a half centimeters. So now I can make bleach with uh, two percent. And that I'm applying on the first part of her hair. You see already it's lighting up. So I can start on the first part of her hair. Make the clean bleach with uh, 2%. So that's uh, about uh, 6 volume. Also with uh, step 1 in it. This I apply on the first part of her. Easily bring this over the two per, uh, over the three percent because it doesn't harm. So this I do to all the hair and then I'm back. Making sure on the contour line there's enough bleach, and I have to do all the hairs because otherwise they look dark and she don't even has dark hairs. The product is also nice to know, it's a cold version of bleaching, so it's still very cool temperature. So now we're gonna wait uh, till this is ready, a watch every 50 minutes. Take a small carton wig and lay this on the contour line, just that the plastic don't lay on the bleach. Clean her ears. They are nice of pink and white. Close one foil. 
ACL's back when we're ready with this. Okay, back from coloring. After uh, 40 minutes, we rinse it out. The hair feels really wonderful. Put step two in to make sure that step one is in the hair. I did this with the toner. You can see I put a silver toner on the hair. And the light parts on the front is because they were totally bleached out. But that doesn't matter because we, she was thinking about uh, blue lines on the front, but that's a bit much. And she wants uh, like a, a small bob on the sides for the sides and then some length on the back with those lines in the blue. But when there's a slight violet in the ends of this, that's also very beautiful. So we're gonna work with this. Yeah. Lay the fringe to the front. We work till the part in front of the ear last time. Those lines are the fringe. Part real tight, so I'm certain that I have a good line. And I really love the glint bleaching process because it's very cool bleaching. There's no heat coming up, so you see that the skin stays real nice and cold. Ask her how short she wants her fringe. Mostly she wanted till there. <laughs> Hoe goed wil je? Tot daar. Ja, zelfs zoiets. Het mag best kort zijn en hij hoeft niet zo breed te zijn. Dus ik wil eigenlijk deze nog steeds ah, wel. Okay, uh, She wants to grow back the sides. Nee. So I lay the hair to the sides. Leave this then a little bit longer because after the styling this will be back and over covered by the parts that's like the blob. So this can softly grow back. Watch at crown areas. High fringe. Always be aware that it's still wet. So it jumps up about a centimeter. And the nice thing is that the bluish violet is in the ends. So there's still a bit of bluish effect in it. Turn a bit. Do the same on this side. This side grows faster, as always. Be sure that the hair is a bit laid behind the ear, also being cut. Lay the hair back in the natural fall and the natural lines. I always can correct this afterwards. Then I know she wants a bit like a bob. So I have to find out how we can manage that. I'm gonna work in the line of falling of the hair. So I part the hair from the fringe at about two centimeters behind the ear. And then I have a straight line down. Show you that in a second. So I have all the hairs on the back of the ear. Do the same on the other side.
get those hairs that she wants in a bob. On the line down. Watch the thickness of the hair, the same amount of hair. Set it to the side. Now part of this line. This she wants a bit of the bob. And this will be a straight bob. So take the end of the chin as my guideline. Do this on both sides. Lay the hair straight down again. Watch where it is. My goldfish is bubbling. Mm -hmm. Control the line on the chin. Also on this side. It looks easier than it is. Now come to the back. Oh, so that's my fish, you are. Yeah. <laughs> we need to look at this. Als die lekker is, dat is wat minder. Yeah, I think well. Now I found myself on the market uh, this wonderful tool. It's uh, for straight iron, but I really love it. So I take the hairs down, bend the hair a bit to the front, or ask her to do the hair a bit to the front, so I can get into a straight line. Then I take the hairs into this comb, take them off the line of where I want to cut. She wants to stay a little bit long, so. So I can really see the straight line of it, and then I cut this line. And then I'm certain I have a straight line on the back. Second line I do on this line, and now I know I have a straight line. And dry hair is a wonderful tool also to style the hair with. She wants a bit up at the side, so she has a bit of natural shape. But also this part was bleached before, so it's a bit drier than the rest. So the hair will be in a wonderful condition after cutting. Take the hair straight down. You can see the drier ends. They're also a bit thin. So it works till I get all the hairs on that line. See how wonderful the condition of the hair is. Come to the right side. Lay the hairs on the line of cutting. Go down. And always be aware that the fall of the hair is okay. Oh. Yeah, it is okay, written. Mm. That's so mooi. So this is the new line on the back. So now I have to make it a blue color. Lay plastic foil on this and work this out. Okay, gonna work at the blue line. 
take uh, this wonderful product, Illumplay, this color, blue. Ask her to bend the head a bit to the front. Lay the hairs on the foil and use this foil also to color the hair in. And the first two centimeters we set in with the blue. Take some new hair on it. Hold the hairs to the side so you can comb them. When you lay them all the color, you can not touch them anymore because then you get the blue into the lighter color. Lay it on the line, hold your finger on it. Take every time about one half centimeters. You have to work real secure. Every time control with the gloves if there is no color on it. Just a cover up. Set a clamp above it. Now go to the sides. Take them down. Take a plank. Take a foil on it. Take the hairs. Lay them on the foil. Spread them. And here we do about a centimeter. Take the plank away. First clean my club. Glue this together, take a small clamp, secure it, and do this also on the other side. So now both sides have, has these colors, so I put two clamps on it and on the back. Uh, I, I hardly have no uh, small clamp, so I use a big one, but that doesn't matter. This has to stay in for 15 minutes, then we rinse it out with a lot of water, and then we're back for styling our hand. Uh, okay, back from coloring, rinse it out after 15 minutes. So now I just go to spray on uh, no yellow spray. And to get a smooth effect, I'm going to use a spray product of Glint. It's a creamy product. No stare. I'm going to blow dry this with a large brush. Comb this product through the hairs. I start in the neckline. Pin the hairs up. In the neckline.
so far no drying. Now add some more shine on the hair by using a diamond gloss. This is a real nice product. Nurse hair also gives a wonderful shine to the hair. You don't see the underlines yet, but that is of course we use the blue K. Adjust the fridge a bit. It's not much. But it makes the difference. Now thank Annika for being my model and to dare this because not everybody dares this. Free of cape. We we'll see each other next time. She will certainly turn to show you the end result. Bye bye.